Hey guys, are you bored with Samsung's One UI and want that clean pixel-like experience with better speed and zero bloat? Then this video is exactly what you need. Today I'll show you how to install Evolution X custom ROM on any Samsung device, whether you're on Android 13, 14 or even Android 15. This ROM is fast, lightweight and perfect for gaming. And yes, Evolution X is widely considered one of the most stable custom ROMs out there. But before we start, a quick disclaimer. Installing a custom ROM will void your warranty and permanently trip NOX on Samsung devices. Also, some banking apps may also not work properly on this ROM, depending on the app's security checks. And yes, there's a chance your phone could get stuck in a boot loop. So make sure to download your stock firmware first, just to be safe. If something goes wrong, check the boot loop fix video linked in the description. Alright, I just installed Evolution X custom ROM on my Samsung of 52S. And let me tell you, it feels like a whole new phone. The user interface is super clean, just like a Google Pixel device. No ads, no Samsung bloat, and everything feels fast and lightweight. It's running on Android 14, and the Evolution X version I'm using is 9.9.3. Even better, the security patch is only about two months old, which is pretty recent for a custom ROM. And if you're into gaming, you'll love this ROM even more. Now first, let me show you how to install this custom ROM on your Samsung device, step by step. Alright, so here's my Samsung Galaxy A52s running on One UI 6 and Android 14. As you can see, it's the stock Samsung interface. But yes, we're about to ditch One UI for something way better. First, tap on build number 7 times. To enable developer options, you'll see it appear in settings. Now here's an important step. Make sure your bootloader is already unlocked and TWRP recovery is installed on your device. If you haven't done that yet, don't worry. I've made separate videos showing how to unlock the bootloader and install TWRP on Samsung devices. You'll find both links in the description below. Once that's done, make sure to enable USB debugging as well. Now let's download the custom ROM. First, download and install the Treble Info app. The link is in the description below. Open the app, then tap on Browse Images. Here, look for Evolution X based on Android 14 and go ahead and download the image file. Now let me explain something important. This is not a standard GSI ROM from Google. Evolution X is a custom ROM built by the developer community and it's packaged in GSI format so it can work on many devices, including Samsung phones. Unlike plain GSIs, it adds extra features, performance tweaks and gaming optimizations. So here's our custom ROM file. Next, transfer this file to the PC so we can flash it using Fastboot. Once the file is moved, it's time to boot into TWRP. First, connect your phone to the PC using a USB cable and then restart the device. As soon as the Samsung logo disappears, press and hold volume up plus power button until you see the Samsung logo again. This will boot your phone into TWRP recovery, so wait for it. Alright, the device is now booted into TWRP recovery. Now normally, you could just extract the ROM and flash it directly to the system partition right from here. But that method doesn't work on all Samsung devices. And since this guide is specifically for all Samsung, we'll use a different method. So first, tap on Reboot and then choose Fastboot. Your phone will now boot into Fastboot mode. Now Samsung doesn't officially support Fastboot, but thanks to custom recoveries like TWRP, we can access Fastboot mode anyway. Alright, once your device is booted into Fastboot mode, let's move to the PC screen. On your PC, you'll need two things, the platform tools folder and the downloaded ROM file. Go ahead and extract both of them. Now open the platform tools folder, Click on the address bar at the top, type CMD and press enter. This will open command prompt right inside the folder. Now in the command prompt window, type fastboot devices and press enter. If you see a serial number, that means your device is properly detected and you're good to go. 
Next, type fastboot flash system followed by the full path of the ROM image file you extracted earlier. Just drag and drop the ROM file into the terminal, then press enter to start flashing the ROM to your device. The flashing process will take a few minutes, so just wait until it completes. I'm going to fast forward this part to save time. And yes, the ROM has now been flashed successfully. Now it's time to reboot the device. In TWRP, tap on Reboot, then select Recovery. This will reboot your phone back into TWRP Recovery, so just wait for it to load. Once you're back in TWRP, go to the Wipe section, then tap on Format Data, type Yes and hit Enter. This will erase all the data on your device. And it's an important step to prevent boot issues. Once that's done, simply tap on Reboot and your device will now boot into Evolution X. Keep in mind, the first boot can take 2-5 to five minutes. So don't panic if it looks stuck. Just leave the phone alone and let it finish booting. And there we go. The device has successfully booted into the Evolution X setup screen. Let me quickly set it up and show you how it looks. Alright, we're now on the Evolution X home screen. And just look at this clean UI. It's simple, smooth and has that true pixel-like feel. But when you first install it, you might notice the screen. Brightness is very low. Don't worry, it's an easy fix. Just open settings, scroll down to system, then tap on treble setting. Now go to Samsung Features and under the Screen section, you'll find an option called Enable Extended Brightness Range. Turn that on and the brightness issue should be fixed right away. Now me install some apps to test how well this ROM performs in real usage. Now let's check the Antutu score. I've already run the test and as you can see, the score is quite impressive. It's actually better than the stock One UI score on the same device, which proves just how well optimized Evolution X really is. And as usual, custom ROMs are known for their customization. And this ROM doesn't disappoint. Under Evolution settings, you will find tons of tweaks, from themes and lock screen styles to status bar icons, quick settings layout, and more. You can change your system font, wallpaper, and even adjust the animation speed to make everything feel faster and snappier. Let's open some common apps. And as you can see, everything launches fast. The UI feels smooth and there's no noticeable lag. Multitasking is also solid. Apps stay in memory longer and switching between them is quick and seamless. And that's it. Evolution X is now running perfectly on our Samsung device with a clean UI, solid performance and tons of customization options. So that's how you install Evolution X custom ROM on any Samsung device. It's smooth, bloat-free and great for anyone who wants a pixel-like experience with better performance. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more custom ROM tutorials, GSI guides and Android tips. If you're facing any issues, just drop them in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.